Your home and what's in it are precious. And it's also a place where you want to feel safe. But by the time this story is through, there will have been 10 home burglaries in the U.S. That's one every 30 seconds. How secure is your home? You may think you're all locked up. But there's a reason why 1.2 million burglaries still happen every year. A break-in is scary. It's also expensive, costing the average victim $2,800. You go out into the world, you go to work, you want to come home, this is your retreat. This is where you want to feel safe. This is when you feel, this is mine. John Davis is a Centerville police officer. He's also certified by the state of Ohio as an advanced crime prevention practitioner. It means he'd rather help you stop a break-in before it happens than to try to track down a criminal after the fact. They're driving down the road looking at which house they want to try. And I had someone, a couple people, uh, come into my house without my permission. Paul Jones said the people that victimized him thought no one was home. They walked in an unlocked back door while he gardened from a couple lots away, but within eyesight. Essentially to scope out the house. I didn't know who they were. And it seemed almost like they had an operation, like they were looking at other houses as well. Never did it. John's camera system recorded the people in the home, but his nightmare was just beginning. This is my home. Not only did the people come back and break in, they then stayed at the home and falsely claimed to Dayton police that they had a verbal agreement as tenants. He broke into the house. It took Jones a lot of time and money and severe damage to his home before he could evict the burglars that turned into squatters. That's an extreme case, but it proves a point to avoid being an easy target. So how do you do that? We're about to show you seven ways. Step one. I would say uh, definitely get to know your neighbors. Record as much as possible. John Davis agrees that neighbors and communities looking out for each other is what stops most burglaries. That's how Centerville police caught this serial burglar who committed a dozen burglaries across several cities in southern Montgomery County, but was finally caught when alert neighbors called police when they saw him illegally entering a home. They're looking for an easy opportunity. Oh, they're looking for the low hanging fruit. They're looking for the easy grab. They're looking for the high probability of success with a low probability of being caught. That is their number one goal. For home safety tips two through seven, our boss let John Davis analyze her house. If I was going to try to get in the house, that's where I'd start. What he's checking? Doors. Real Link reports that 56% of burglars make their way into homes through doors. And what he found right away? Single door locks and no deadbolts. You're depending on about a one inch by one inch piece of wood to keep someone from coming through that door. So we want to make it as hard as possible. Next, he's checking windows. 23% of burglars get in through windows that are unlocked and not because burglars will smash them to get in. They typically will not break a window to get into a home because it makes a very distinct sound. Safety tip number four, cut away hiding spots like big bushes near your house. You can see at our boss's home, low-hanging tree branches are cut and the porch is clear and open. Step number five, even lighting all around your home at night. Home security experts say that's more effective than motion sensor lights. Step six, Davis likes doorbell cameras because you can answer a knock which often precedes a break-in whether you are inside the home or 100 miles away. He's less impressed with other home video surveillance cameras. I, I jokingly tell people, well, if you want good footage of them stealing your stuff, it gives us an investigative tool, but it's really not a preventive thing. We'd much rather make it to where they don't even try. And one last step, step seven, just in case a burglar were to break in, if you do have valuables in the house, locking them up in a safe that is not portable is probably your best defense. The ultimate goal here is to make sure thieves don't target your home, whether it's a house, apartment, or a condo. John Davis told me complacency and convenience are the biggest enemy here. If you don't think it will happen to you, then you won't prepare and make your home a tough target. Mike Campbell, News Center 7.